Okay, it's Friday, 3.17 p.m. Almost time to set up our weekly option income strategy. Okay, right now I am moving towards more of an opportunistic site because uh, Nifty right now technically is showing a very nice pattern over here. If you see, there's a breakout and going strongly upwards. And on 31st, if I go to the events calendar, okay there's india gdp growth rate that is happening on monday so there is a news event uh, which in short term is going to impact which is going to tell whether the economy is slowed down or it's growing and of course we are expecting negative results but more than likely the market has already digested the negative impact over here that is what my personal view is so the impact is going to be low now it may happen that we can get a negative result and market still shoots up okay because technically, uh, as if we, we have digested that part. So upside, I see at least 12,200 is an easy target if the, the uncertainty is removed after the news. Or it may happen that we really take it ahead because we are having a few days of rise anyway. Stock might fall down. So we do have an uncertain situation. I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, stocks wise, we can take a call. But option strategy wise, we have an ideal strategy for this. Okay, so I go to my option strategy builder. I am going to take something known as a call ratio back spread. Okay, where I am selling two call options, buying two 11,700 option that is higher option and selling one lower call. Both are calls and it's a call ratio back spread with two is to one ratio selling. Okay, so here if you see uh, third expiry, third September is my expiry date. If Nifty does not move from its place, of course, I stand to lose a lot of money over here. But I know market is not going to stay exactly where it is. There might be some kind of pullback or some kind of shoot up because of the news event related. So assuming this entire risk, I'm expecting market to either stay somewhere in the range of 500 and you know, come down on this range. at 11,500 at least touch 11,500 okay so, uh, or bounce up okay because this is actually 11,500 is an important level and it's it's actually piercing through it or it can shoot upwards okay so that's why the strategy if it goes up we're going to definitely profit a lot right after 840 it has to move at least 200 points from its current price uh, and then we will start making some explosive profit. So if we hit 12,000 within the next week, which is more than likely in one or two candles, we can hit it. I stand to profit a lot. Okay, so keeping a very small range. Also, uh, the main event is on Monday. So as you see on uh, Monday, 31st, not Monday, 31st of August is, yeah, Monday as expected. On 31st of August, I actually have a better uh, uh, profitability ratio there's a very minor raw loss that i might take if we stay if 50 stays exactly where it is even if it moves slightly down towards 560 180 points i need one percent movement in nifty either side and i will break even very quickly okay even at 800 i'll start to make profit so uh, let's see how this strategy goes i'm going to add this to my virtual portfolio Nifty weekly income strategy. Okay. And confirm. All right. We will see, check back on Monday and maybe on the third next week, Thursday, to see what happened of this strategy.